What's up, guys? So I want to show you a quick and useful use of the two, uh, the curve tool. So curve is one of the repeaters. So we're going to use curve. So I made this little sphere here. Um, it's just a sphere that I flattened. That's all it is. And I put it here because I think I want to do like kind of like these little plates that kind of go all along his back and up to the tail. So this is the perfect use of the curve tool. So we just have our sphere here and we go add and then curve. So now you see this situation here. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna put it maybe like where I want the last one to be. It doesn't really matter where you put it. This one I'm gonna put here. And right now there's only two. So you can raise the count so maybe like, you know, five. And then I'm just going to add some more nodes and just place them. Kind of how, however I, however I want them to go. So maybe, you know, all along the back right here, something, maybe you want like another one, so maybe six. So we'll do something like this. So the great thing about this is now you can use all the other options as well. Let me curve this up so you can still see it. Maybe you want this one bigger and this one smaller. So you can tap radius like you would with the tube tool. You can make this bigger. You can make this smaller. And you can do something like that. And now you have, you know, your little, your little plates. Probably need to move these over tail so you can have something like that and then also so once you validate it there's join children there's keep instances and uninstance so uninstance means that these are all just going to be like single meshes oops uh, keep instances means they're going to be single but everything you do to one is going to happen to the other ones and then there's join join children which means even though they're separated, it's just going to be one, uh, one shape. What did I just do? Okay. So for example, let's say we want to validate it in keep instances. So now let's say we wanted to make these, you know, a little bit sharper. Oops. So you just do it to one and it happens to all of them. So if you want to make them all like that, then you can. Or if you want to do sort of a stegosaurus type situation, you can kind of do that. Where they're kind of small to begin with and get wider or something. I don't really know what... I've never seen a stegosaurus in real life, so I don't really know. But I know that that's pretty useful. And also, we can turn them... Oh, wait a minute. It just turned one. I thought they were instanced. Oh, you know what it is? So I, I didn't validate it yet. I'm not validated at all. So when you validate, then you don't, you can't do the curve. But when you don't validate, then you can move it and it moves all of them. So that's the big difference. Once you validate, then you can't move it individually. If you keep instances, I should be able to still stretch. So let me go to my shapes. You can go to your shapes and they'll still be instanced, but the gizmo will only only move the one. So the gizmo won't work and that's once it's, once it's instanced. But if it's not, so if you wanna do your curving and stuff like that, use the gizmo and do it before you instance it. All right, at least I know why that happened. Hope you don't mind that I took this extra time to figure out the issue. Let me go back to my regular sphere. And by the way, I'm making a, uh, actually, I don't wanna tell you exactly what it is, but I wanna make a functional sculpt that mixes, you know, these kind of characters, you know, that I do. So this is gonna be a two for one. I might just wait until I print it out and show you what it's used for, because I think it's gonna be really fun. Uh, all right, make sure you guys give me a like, 
help my videos out. I really appreciate you and all the support. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.